Victoria was born on April 10th, 2018. She was a 25 weeker. She had a PDA, so that's why she had so many difficulty breathing. So she was intubated for a while. PDA stands for a patent ductus arteriosus. Ductus arteriosus is a structure in the baby when they're in the womb that connects the lung artery, the pulmonary artery, with the aorta, which is the main artery going out to the body. After you're born, a lot of changes take place and that ductus arteriosus usually closes down. So we frequently will see it not only stay open, but cause problems for those premature infants. She had the PDA closure done two and a half months after she was born. And the procedure was done at um, Arno Palmer and the, the CAT lab. So with Gloria, they were waiting to see if the PDA would close on by itself. At first, when they told me she, they were gonna do it, I was kind of scared because I'm like, she's so little, she's not even a month yet. I thought it was going to be over at Arno Palmer, but they told me, no, it's going to be right here by bedside. Being able to do this at the bedside is, is actually incredibly rewarding because you know you're doing the right thing for the patient. The goal of any therapy should be to have the best result with the least amount of cumulative trauma to the patient. If they can't come to the cath lab easily, it kind of makes sense to bring the cath lab to them. When I found out he was the same doctor who did Victoria's, I was like, I'm like, okay, she's in good hands. It's exciting to see this kind of innovation stuff that we weren't doing five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. That's what's neat about neonatology is it's always changing. And it's changing for the better because it makes a difference in not just survival, but outcomes in general. For this particular patient, it was fantastic that we were able to do it by the bedside. For her sister five years older, it was incredibly rewarding to be able to do it at all. So in that situation, being able to do something safely first and then move it in forward in a direction where we've got innovative ideas and that type of thing uh, moving forward, then I think that that's, that's an incredibly uh, rewarding experience for everybody involved. And it's not about setting records or anything like that. It's about giving kids a chance. But I'm just happy and I cannot wait to see her grow and start making memories with them. <laughs> and one thing I'm really hoping and I'm praying that if not both or one of them would come back here and work in the, in the NICU. It would be nice if both of them can be part of this wonderful team.